Hey everyone, it's been a while. And this isn't actually going to be one of my usual videos exploring some technological bizarreness. I'm mainly making this to help out a few people I know who are looking to keep Windows 10 a little bit longer. So, not my usual thing, but I've been working in the IT industry a long time, about 20 years now, and for the last 18 months, my business has been helping out lots of other businesses figure out how to handle the Windows 10 to Windows 11 upgrade. If you're a business and you're watching this, this video ain't for you. What I'm about to tell you is only applicable for consumers, for non-businesses. If you're a business, definitely talk to your IT people. And if you don't have IT people, totally talk to me and my company. Could we call that a sponsor? Sure, why not? So, um, if you are looking to prolong Windows 10 on your machine for another year, there is a way to do it. Microsoft do have a few requirements that you must have if you would like your machine to remain on Windows 10. If you do not meet these requirements, then Windows 10 support ends for you on the 14th of October 2025, which at the time of recording is one week from now. If you're watching this in six months, well, the window might have closed. There are a few ways you can get access to this, what they call extended support. ESU, I believe, extended security updates. So one way is you can redeem a thousand Microsoft points, if you have any. Uh, another way is you can pay them $30. And another way is you can make sure your computer is connected to your Microsoft account. Now, if you're not sure what a Microsoft account is, it's likely going to be the same login that you would use for your Hotmail, uh, your Outlook.com, your Xbox account, Skype, OneDrive, or Office.com. If you have any of those, it's that. You can connect your computer up to these accounts. And if your computer is connected up to it, synchronizing your settings, you will be eligible for a free year of extended support or extended security updates. I've got to keep using that term, ESU, extended security updates. I don't think this means they're going to start charging for Microsoft accounts in the future. Their main motivation seems to be, if your computer is connected to your Microsoft account, they can verify your license and it helps reduce piracy. So it helps Microsoft get more people on the Microsoft accounts and it helps them verify all the licenses that are sitting out there in the world. Okay, so to access this, simply, Fire up your computer, and in the bottom left-hand corner where the Start button is, right-click on the Start button, and then click on Settings. That will then bring up the standard control panel view. At the bottom, you'll see Update and Security, so you click on that. That will bring up the Windows Update page. You'll see a whole bunch of things, but at the top, Windows 10 Support ends, blah, 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 blah. And there's a little button there, Enroll Now. That will bring up the little box telling you all about the program and giving you some more information, enroll, blah, blah, blah. October 14th is when it all expires. We've all known that for about a year now. So then you would hit next. This is where the logon box appears, but I did that in advance so as not to give away my secret identity to you all. But you'll see there's the extended security update program and you can enroll in it. Just hit the enroll button, it enrolls you and you're done. That's, that's it. That's as simple as that. You are now enrolled in the Microsoft program. <sighs> do me a favor though, if you do enroll in this program, please, please, please spend the next year planning your upgrade to Windows 11. Do not keep it after this extended date. Microsoft have given you a, a whole extra year to work on this. So it is always imperative to keep your computer up to date. The, the reason in case you were unaware, when a, a villain out there in the world finds a new way of ruining everyone's life and breaking into your computer, Microsoft techies will find a way of stopping that. And they will release that to the world in the form of a security update. So that's what this is all about. And, you know, Microsoft have been doing this for the last decade for this operating system. And considering the operating system only cost about £80 or whatever dollars, I don't think we can really blame them for wanting to end it and make us upgrade. The only thing I'm not too personally keen on with the Windows 11 upgrade is as a bit of an environmentalist eco-nerd, the upgrade to Windows 11 has some hardware requirements 
and it's those hardware requirements that have meant a lot of old Windows 10 machines just aren't physically capable of running Windows 11. So there's been a lot of stuff sent for recycling, gone to landfill, or reloaded with Linux, which you've seen a lot of these days. But anyway, you got another year. Use it wisely. <laughs>